Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we are blasting Louisiana's Grave Ritual, Morbid Throne, originally from Alabama. This is some absolute awesome fucking death metal. If you dig fucking early incantation, especially Onward to Golgotha, Yo, get in the grave ritual, you are going to eat this fucking beast up. This is straight up old school, filthy, fucking, wet blanket death metal. I love it. Like, the artwork pretty much sums up what the album sounds like, and just great, great fucking stuff. And I can't wait to see these guys at the end of the month as well at the Dark Descent Records 8th Anniversary Show alongside Spectral Voice's record release show, which is going to be great. And speaking of Spectral Voice, I wanted to go over one of their biggest influences, one of my favorite bands and one of my favorite albums, Disembowelment's Transcendence Into the Perennial. 1993 Relapse Records original version purveyors a fine grind that's how you know but that has nothing to do with the tunes on here from the tree of life and death you just have seven tracks of some of the most atmospheric heavy fucking awesome oozing with fucking atmosphere and ambience funeral doom slash death doom tracks this is a work of art this is what a legit 10 out of 10 album sounds like and for we will not pass this way again disembowelment kind of got back together under under the name inner Vlock and dusk over the years but have never never gone back on those words I just read for we will not pass this way again you will not see disembowelment play disembowelment you might see Inverlock play a disembowelment set but you're you are not going to see disembowelment play live it's just not gonna happen and it's a bummer because I would kill to see these four dudes together on stage just absolutely crushing the fucking probably mostly unsuspecting crowd. Who the fuck knows? I mean, disembowelment when it comes to death doom, this is, you know, kind of the blueprint to, you know, fucking funeral doom and making it work creating the atmosphere but yet just being as heavy as fucking possible and this hits on all fucking cylinders that the production alone is just wow it's fucking so sick and like the 2006 reissue they went a little overboard like releasing triple LP versions but it all was under like the self it, like a box set self-titled you didn't get the action I mean you got the original album but it had some bonus tracks on it which is cool but you know like it, had, it came with the Dusk EP as uh, the bonus disc I think I forget actually but you just you didn't get the actual just straight up original and that's what I really wanted ever since I first heard this on one faithful car ride on cassette I was just like yo this is legit terrifying sounding and uh, my friend even said he was like hey you want to hear the scariest band ever and I was like what like yeah and I was just drug in by this fucking atmosphere that this album just surrounded itself in like from the insane sounding blast beats which I've still the only other band I've heard really fuck with that type of like weird sound is their other project Inverlock like but when it comes to some of the other like especially like the guitar effects and stuff spectral voice do it 
so fucking good. Like, as much as I love their Goffins, fucking stream from the heavens, this is right neck and neck with it. Like, this is so fucking good. The sadness, the heaviness, and just, you know, fucking just... I love fucking death metal and doom. And when you put the two together in something this good, I can't help but smile. But there's not many smiles to be had on here when it comes to actual subject matter and whatnot. What you get is, like I said, some of the most oppressive, heavy, just trance-like fucking funeral doom ever recorded. And it's amazing. For we will not pass this way again. Very, very heavy words for a very, very heavy album. And this is back in Relapse Records' early days when they were signing nothing but fire. It's not like now where Inverlock, which is like Disembowelment's new project, is kind of buried under death remixes and dying fetus wrong one to fuck with. But like... I mean, Relapse, even back then, same bad taste, great new look. But this is how you used to order stuff back in the day. Yeah. I would love for all of these t-shirts, especially that St. Vitus one. But I love this old fucking Relapse catalog. And just some of the bands that used to be on Relapse, like here's fucking Winters Into Darkness. For $14, Sinister, Cross the Stick, St. Vitus, Righteous Pigs, Repulsion, Pugnant Stench, Monstrosity, Incubus, Incantation, Master, General Surgery, Dismember, Disembowelment, Dusk, uh, Deceased, Death is Just the Beginning, Complimation, Volume 2, Benediction, and I'm not sure if this is just, um, you know some of the other labels they were dealing with as well. I forget who was on Relapse, who wasn't. I think, oh, here, I think this is Relapse's actual lineup at the time, but... Sorry for the interruption again! I am so sorry. I'm like running out of room on my phone or something, but I was towards the end of the video. I have to give Disembowelment Transcendence into the Perennial a straight up 10 out of 10. This is one of the best fucking albums ever made and it's just 7 tracks of just some of the crushingest death doom slash funeral doom ever. Do not let the purveyors of fine grind fucking set you off course this is just an old relapse tag like grind your mind and all that but this is straight up funeral doom death doom at its greatest caliber and spectral voice like i said i can't wait to hear the new album in its entirety because this is definitely a major, major influence to spectral voice and one of the reasons i love that band so much but we've been blasting Grave Rituals, Morbid Throne on Relapse Records. I meant on Dark Descent Records. Awesome, awesome death metal. I love this shit, but Disembowelment, get into it. Inner Vlock, get into it. This is so fucking good. And as always, thanks for watching. Hails.